just by training, I think I understand the mechanism of how people get hurt. So when we see them in rehab, it's, it's easier to try to tailor a program that's unique for combat sport athletes. So yeah, I started training martial arts probably when I was like 12 years old. Uh, my good friend Edmund Lee dragged me to start um, taking some Taekwondo lessons. And then from there, took a little time off, did some high school sports, and then got back into it with kickboxing at HMC with Haru and Kevin. Um, and then from there, Niza came by, and then he started teaching the gi classes, and then from then, it's just been um, jiu-jitsu from then on. <laughs> the chief over here. Yeah. Chief. Chief. And then um, I moved away f to school for a little bit, for about three to four years in New York City. I trained with Vitor Shalin and Barrow up in New York City. And then I've been back, and I've been training with um, uh, the team back here ever since then. There's always new things to learn. Um, Jits is always progressing. I'm a doctor of physical therapy. Uh, I got my education at New York University. I'm a manual therapy training at the North American Institute of Orthopedic Manual Therapy. Um, being a doctor, getting a doctor degree in physical therapy helps in that we can uh, differentially diagnose uh, different conditions so that we're treating musculoskeletal injuries and um, being able to rule out any red flag conditions and being able to send you to a medical doctor. For example, things like a pain in the knee can be coming from dysfunctions in the low back, hip, or even at the ankle, causing the knee to be the victim versus the culprit is a little bit further along, um, away from the source of pain. Like our academic, so he's, you know, he's the one that's um, doing most up on research. I look at the joint and then the muscle and then the soft tissue and then so that's an example of how like, the joint might be kind of blocked because the central nervous system is just kind of holding the joint in place. And so for me personally, I got into this because, you know, throughout the years of training, I've always been injured, so I wanted to learn about what happens during an injury, how to recover from it. So I think uh, training jiu-jitsu before getting into this profession helped a lot because in jiu-jitsu, there's a big library of techniques that we need to be able to remember and execute in different situations. This applies a lot with what I do um, as a physical therapist because when we have our manual therapy training, there's a lot of, there's a whole world of techniques out there that we have to remember and be able to perform um, with our bodies on patients. And that just takes repetitions and practice in order to get good at isolating the technique and making sure that the techniques we're performing are beneficial for our patients. As humans, uh, we only have a limited time on this earth, so we should spend it doing what we love to do. Combat sports or uh, basketball, football, surfing, we see it all. Um, give us a call. Um, still rolling? <laughs>